Today we'll look at the Bridgeways Management Pack for MySQL databases. With MySQL being part of the ubiquitous LAMP stack, ensuring it is available, properly configured, and performing at the required levels is critical for organizations of all sizes. As the most popular open source database around, MySQL deployments have a tendency to vary tremendously even within the same organization. This is because it can be built into a carefully architected solution from the ground up or in many cases was a core piece of a Skunkworks project that went directly from being a prototype application to a production application. By leveraging System Center and the Bridge Waste Management Pack, administrators can get the detailed information they need around each MySQL database to see how it is configured, how it is being used, and how well it is performing. Using these metrics, SLAs can be built out to ensure the services relying on MySQL are performing at the appropriate levels. The MySQL Management Pack is a native MP within Operations Manager. You don't have to roll out any additional framework in order to start monitoring your environment. Instead, you simply have to import the Management Packs, create some run as accounts so that you can connect your individual MySQL databases, and then associate those accounts to the databases using a run as account profile. Once this is done, Operations Manager is configured and able to start monitoring your environment. Another place of the Managed Pack makes it easy for you to set up the monitoring of your servers is through the inclusion of installation tasks for the providers themselves. On the Windows side of things, you're going to be installing a WMI provider, and that would be done through GPOs or Configuration Manager. On the Unix and Linux side, you don't have the benefit of a Configuration Manager, so this is where we provide tasks that can be used to install any of our providers. In this case, we have a task that would be run that would install the SIM provider for monitoring MySQL databases. These tasks themselves, they run using the Unix privileged account that has been configured within Operations Manager. Configuration of the provider itself is also done through Operations Manager. Once a provider has been discovered, it is through a configuration task that you'll go through and you'll set up the provider so it knows how to connect to your specific instances of your MySQL databases. This keeps all the configuration within Operations Manager, which makes it much easier to manage your monitoring solutions. Looking at the health model for MySQL Database Management Pack, you can see that we're modeling things from the servers, through the databases and the tables associated with those databases, all the way into the connections in the binary logs. By doing this, we're able to give you both a high-level or detailed view on the health of the MySQL environment. Now let's take a look at the health model for one of our servers. Using the Health Explorer, we're able to look at the server from the high level. We're able to see what's going on in terms of availability, configuration, and performance. From the availability side, we're able to see what's happening with our run as account. Is it still valid? What about the server availability or the availability of the individual databases being run on this server? Through configuration monitoring, we're able to look for common configuration items that you likely want to have enabled for your MySQL databases. And then with performance, of course, we're able to monitor things like replication, query cache hit ratios, and even things like the number of active connections being made to the individual database. With each of our monitors, we always have a KB article associated. The KB article gives you a summary of what the monitor is for, what could cause the alarm to fire, and how you'd go around resolving the alert itself. It's through the usage of this KB that you're able to really get quality information and push that information not only from just your tier one support, but push it up to your specialized support and be able to bring everybody to the same level when it comes to trying to figure out what's going on with your MySQL databases. Taking a look at the performance side of things, we're able to gather a lot of performance metrics out of the MySQL database. Metrics off the database itself, such as just the size. How many tables are in the database? How big is the database itself? What about the row count or the size of the indexes associated with this database? We can pull information around the slow queries. So we're able to look at the slow query log and, and draw that information in Ops Manager so that you can view it through your console. We're also able to look at the server itself. What are we doing in terms of seconds behind master, so for our replication side of things? What about connection times with the server itself? Same thing around data throughput, how much data is going to and from the database, and query activity, how many table scans are occurring, and how many questions are going to the database. 
these performance metrics or how you'd go around doing some trend analysis to make sure that your database itself is able to handle the load it's being placed on. Another place where all this performance information becomes very useful is with respect to reporting. Because all of our rules go into the data warehouse, you're able to build out nice reports through both the generic reporting within Operations Manager, plus use the pre-canned reports that we provide it with the management pack. This is an example of one of those reports. This is the MySQL database report that's showing a correlation between the active connections, the query cache hit ratio, and the overall throughput on the database. It's by using this information provided by the Bridgeways Manager Pack for MySQL databases that you can really move into that proactive realm of monitoring. Be able to look at more than just whether or not your database is up or down. You're able to look at how well it's performing and look at the trending in the reports in order to see whether or not it will retain this level of performance into the future. And it's through this that you can make sure that your databases are available when you need them.